we must adopt a multifaceted approach, embracing a culture of continuous learning, professionalism, and perfection will enhance effectiveness and efficiency in MDAs. For this reason, we will ensure regular monitoring, evaluation and reporting of progress. This will enable us to identify areas in need of improvement and take corrective actions. Furthermore, transformation of performance management will create efficiency through investment in state-of-the-art technologies, providing training and capacity building opportunities. It will augment a culture of collaboration and knowledge sharing and shear off existing, the existing silo mentality. By harnessing the power of digital transformation, we can automate processes, reduce redundancies, and maximize productivity. This being, brings me to the issue of corruption. Your Excellency, the public is tired of our persistent appeals, pleas, demonstrations, and threats against corruption. It is time to act and act decisively to end this scourge, especially the temptations in the public service. As the executive, we are ready to do our bit. The Auditor General, the control of budget, churn out disturbing revelations about blatant theft of public resources. These reports are invariably confirmed by Parliament. The question is, where is the missing link in bringing culprits to account? Your Excellency, we must require all agencies in the criminal justice system to save us the agony. They must do Kenyans justice, and this is not weaponizing state agencies against anyone. All we are asking them to do is work without doubt, fear, or favor. Your Excellency, your firm hand here is most critical. My office coordinated a stakeholders forum to review the performance contracting guidelines. There was unanimous consensus that we refocus MDA's performance contracts to deliver more on their core mandates as a consequence. MDAs are now required to include in their performance contracts the following indicators that are core to the government's transformative agenda. Digitalization of government services to accelerate the adoption of ICT in service delivery. Two, productivity mainstreaming to entrench a culture of performance and productivity to enable MDAs measure the efficiency and effectiveness of resource utilization to realize maximum output with fewer inputs and three, implementation of the Presidential Directive on National Tree Growing Restoration Campaign to accelerate the growth of 15 billion trees for restoration of 10.6 million hectares by 2032. B, this is, to, this, is uh, to also, this is also expected to increase Kenya's forest and tree cover from the current 12% to 30% by 2022. Your Excellency, today's ceremony marks a key milestone for our administration. The implementation of the performance contracts will ensure that the commitments that you made to our people are realized. May it also interest you to note that the performance contracts that, will, that we have signed with you have been deliberately designed to incorporate the priority programs and projects contained in the fourth medium-term plan, MTP4, 2023-2027, and the national development priorities in the five beta sectors to be implemented by MDAs during this financial year. The remaining performance contracts will be finalized, signed, and cascaded to other levels to facilitate timely implementation of commitments captured in the contracts for this financial year. May I thank all the cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, chairpersons, and executive officers of state corporations and development partners for supporting the entrenchment of performance management in the public service. I assure you that I have not taken your support for granted, and it will not be in vain. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I do recognize your immense support in the institutionalization of performance management in the public service, which is core to the realization of a citizen-centric public service. I thank you. It is now my singular pleasure to invite Your Excellency, the Deputy President, to make your remarks 
and thereafter invite His Excellency the President.